for seven days. He was quiet. Well, it's still a color 4x4 man. I just want to give you guys an update uh, since I've been back from Moab and uh, give you some uh, some of my thoughts on the trip. And we have uh, two more trips that are planned, one for sure and one that's coming up later in the summer. Um, Moab was great, uh, third year up there. Had a great time. Um, the van worked flawlessly. I did have a blow up on the way back. Um, apparently I picked up a nail somewhere and the pressure got low enough that um, right on the highway before I got on the interstate coming out of Moab, the uh, tire blew out, my rear passenger. So, a little scary. Hopefully this wind's not too bad here. A little bit scary, but not too bad considering how big a tire and how tall I am. So it worked out okay. Um, but uh, the solar worked out great. I no longer uh, hit float at 10 in the morning like I used to uh, with the extra batteries. So uh, it now takes a full day of charging to fill that up. So that's worked great. And I was able to run everything and not have to worry about running out. Um, the lowest I got, even running the, uh, we watched a movie on the outdoor speakers one night, even running all that, the lowest I got was 12.5 volts. So uh, definitely an improvement over all that. Uh, I was warm enough, only had to use the fireplace heater one night, and that probably didn't need to happen. Um, I just did it because it was a little chilly and I left it on, but actually it was warm enough. There weren't any issues with the cold. Um, the new mattress worked great. Uh, the old mattress was an older uh, wire spring type mat RV mattress, and even though those don't sound comfortable, my wife and I found it to be very comfortable and enjoyed it. And uh, this new one is foam with memory foam on top, 10 inches thick, and it was even better in my opinion. I slept great, had it, and I, I was afraid that changing mattresses that it wouldn't be the same, but it was actually better, so that worked out great. I'll leave a link to the mattress that I used down below. Um, I don't always film when I'm on these kind of trips, mostly because I'm just busy and we're doing things all the time, so I try to bring my camera and I try to get what I can, and hopefully some of that's salvageable. <laughs> Lighting and, and uh, shaking and other things that I'm not a very professional camera operator yet, but so I, so I had to throw out a lot of stuff just because of that types of things. Um, I need a gimbal pretty bad. I'm going to get that next. But anyway, I tried to... Uh, get some van footage this time and I got some uh, four-wheeler footage this time that spot with the four-wheeler it looks so easy on the video but we my buddy got stuck going up that and uh, we actually had to uh, we sat there and had lunch and thought about that and we just did it and now that I see it on video it looks so easy but it was actually a lot harder than it looks GoPros are very misleading um, that's about it for Moab. I mean, like I said, great time as always, that time of year. Um, the Jeep rally is coming up this weekend for Easter, but I don't know if I'd go then. It'd be so full of people, I don't know if it'd be worth it. But any other time uh, in the spring or in the fall, I think is it's just an excellent place to ride. The weather's really nice, and it, it's, if you like anything outdoors, hiking, biking, or riding, or four-wheel driving, it's just the place to be, so highly recommend it. The next trip coming up is the middle of May, and uh, we've already bought tickets for the Overland Expo West. That'll be in Flagstaff, Arizona from May 12th to May 14th. And uh, we are we planned this about a month ago and got our tickets and found out that even uh, we have a neighbor right down the street here that owns an RV store here here in town, and they're going to have a booth set up there also. So we'll have, we'll have some friends there uh, taking the van down and uh, take some classes and see what it's about but mostly I'm interested in uh, looking at Unimogs as, as you know from my videos that's my next thing that's on my mind I really I really want to build a Unimog camper so this will be my chance to see them in the flesh and see what the top of the line is, looks like see what the size of the vehicles is like and just get a feel for them before I dive into that so that's that's coming up May 12th to the, four, to the 14th um, probably be more like a four and a half five day trip so we'll go down early and come back, drive back up here. So looking forward to that. So that's the next trip coming up. And then I've also um, been researching an overland trip here locally. Um, uh, between There's a road between Dots Arrow and Newcastle, Colorado called Coffee. Several roads. There are four service roads. Coffee Pot Road is the main road. And uh, you, it's an overland road, a bunch of campsites, some mountain uh, lakes, and 
at least one mountain pass, several water crossings, and I've wanted to do this trip for a couple of years, and I've researched it a lot this spring, early spring, late winter. And uh, I think we're going to do that. The road for that opens June 21st, so it'll probably be mid-July kind of trip. And uh, that's going to be my first real overland trip with the van, where we we go and we're both of us will probably be in the van, and we'll just be with our own resources going overland for about four or five days. So anyway, that's coming up in July. So those are the next two trips that I know of. There'll be others, but that's the next two trips that I know of. Um, to answer a couple questions I've been getting, uh, someone asked a question about my inverter. It's not a pure sign inverter. If you use your inverter a lot, like for computers, if you're living in it all the time, number one, and if you use it a lot for things like computers and things like that, you probably want a pure sign inverter. They're more efficient, and there are, there are some that say that they, they damage things over time if you don't have a pure sign. I have not found that to be the case, but at any rate, mine is not. It's a modified wave, and I only use it to charge my DeWalt radio, and I run the TV off of it, but that's that charge is converted anyway. So uh, I charge all my electronics, like phones, iPads, computers, all that is charged off 12 volts. So I haven't had those issues, and I rarely use it. It's a feature I wanted to have in case I needed it, but I rarely use it. So. That's the answer to that question. If you do use it a lot, you probably want a pure sign inverter. They cost more, but they're apparently uh, more efficient and are, are worth it. So that's 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 that. Uh, and another question about my batteries, my new batteries, uh, the Trojan 2105s I put underneath the bed. They do require ventilation. Um, not so much in my case because I don't have the main time that batteries gas out is when they're overcharged. Um, with this the smart charger that I have, that doesn't that doesn't happen um, but I do have ventilation holes drilled under there to outside so that takes care of that um, I've had no issues of any kind as you know the first battery that I had in the van for the first year was this was a wet lead acid battery and I never had any issues with that one either um, so even though the the main battery I run is AGM sealed battery uh, those two T105s back there they're ventilated and I I really don't worry about that I know I talk about doing research a lot um, and all the research I've done. I found a book here that I highly recommend called Motorhome Self-Build and Optimization by Ulrich Dulda. He's from Germany and he built this uh, cab over expedition vehicle, Mercedes 914 uh, military truck originally. And uh, he built the entire interior. It took him nine months to build the truck. And uh, he goes through it in detail in here. Um, everything from electrical to plumbing to heating, uh, the cabinetry, uh, bedding, everything, you name it. It's all in here. So I highly recommend this book. You can get it on Amazon. And uh, this is the first version that's uh, translated into English. Uh, it was originally done in German. And he's got an updated, after a couple of trips to Morocco and a couple other places, he added some new things in here. Um, his budget is obviously uh, very high <laughs> compared to mine. He has things like uh, um, uh, the top of the line batteries and top of the line everything by now. So um, a little high budget, but he also goes into some other, uh, his, uh, his website, when you buy the book, you can get on his website and uh, show your vehicle and there's a bunch of other vehicles on there. So um, everything from the low end to the very high end is, is on his website. So. A good resource if you're interested in building something or uh, just want to optimize what you have. Uh, I think that about covers everything. I'll uh, check in again uh, when I get uh, either the next thing done on the van. I still have some work I'm going to do before the Overland Expo. And I'll uh, definitely have some video of the Overland Expo trip. And hopefully I'll see some of you down there when that happens. May 12th to May 14th in Flagstaff, Arizona. Until the next time. Thank you.